Hey guys, we're the Monster, Monster Girls, Girls and, and we're, we're Clubaholics. <laughs> he just. <laughs> Okay, ready? Alright. Hi, we're the Monster Girl. Say it again. One, two, three. Hi, we're the Monster Girls. And, and we're, we're Cobaholics. Woo! <laughs> this, this, this is a Clubaholics exclusive. Check this out. Let's turn your radio on. Clubaholics for six. Come to my city. What's up guys, it's Devin Georgestone with Clubaholics.com and I'm here with J-Rock And we're here in Los Angeles, California at the LA Auto Show People come here to the LA Convention Center to check out the hottest models and their cars How about we go check it out? What's up, my name is J-Rock I'm here with Ladis Ladis, and Ladis is going to tell us a little bit about this car that we have right here, which is... This is a 2013 GT500 with the Super Snake conversion from Shelby. People, well, why would people want to buy this car and say that? Well, usually it's the horsepower figure that gets everybody's attention. Pretty much. And it's a pretty good looking ride, don't you think? I think it's pretty hot, to tell you the truth. Do you think that a guy in this type of car would need any type of pickup lines to pick up on a girl? You know, it is LA, so there's a lot of girls that go just for the car, so... Uh, I'm pretty ugly, so I don't think the car or anything is going to work, but uh, but yeah, I think there's going to be some girls that will look at this car and know that the guy's got it going on, so we're not. No pickup line needed? I don't think so. If I need a pickup line, I'm just going to wrap the throttle a couple of times and let her hear that exhaust, and hopefully the exhaust is enough to get her attention here. Let's say you didn't have the car. What kind of pickup line would you use? Ah, uh, let's see here. If I did not have the car, I would say, is that a mirror in your belt buckle? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> Tow, <laughs> tow, my brother. Oh, I know you like, you like, you like what you see. Like the rim, trying to get shiny. Yeah, huh? TV's glowing like the moon at night. Yeah. Yeah. Lena, um, we, I'm working for the company, an aftermarket company that customizes all interior on these vehicles. So it's called Bespoke. Bespoke, okay? And that's what we do here. I can give you a little tour and show you guys what we have. Sure. Come along. Follow us. <laughs> I get this a lot, so I'm pretty sure you do too, because you're pretty hot. When you're on your bike, I'm pretty sure you've gotten pickup lines before. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the worst pickup line you've gotten? Um, can I ride on the back of your seat? <laughs> ride me. Are you serious? And then I'll say yes. Oh, lordy. <laughs> would you give me your beer? Uh, no. No, 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 no. So you wouldn't, would you use a pickup line back? Uh, I'll say, what would you do for the beer? Yeah. Nice hair. That's a pickup line? Yeah. That's why you're single, huh? Yeah. That's exactly why. I'm Gabriella Bessarill and I'm a clubaholic. Promoting Alan Ed's booth, Auto Sound. Oh, okay. Some aftermarket work on the cars. Oh, nice. Holler, he put his arm around me and said, Holler at your boy, Ma. I don't even know. <laughs> he just ought to know it just when it did it. Yeah, we were at Venice Beach, so you know. Okay, so she was at Venice Beach and the guy just came and put her arm. That's creepy. Just come and put your. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. Worst pickup line. You know, it was my worst pickup line. I just heard it like five minutes ago. Uh oh, what was it? Yeah, I got you to tell me. He said, "Do you have a mirror in your belt? On your belt, because I can see myself in your pants." How horrible! <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. I do. If your boyfriend were to butt dial you, would you actually stay and listen? Yes. <laughs> you would. Would you use that against him? Um, if it's if, if I could hear what he like what's happening in the background, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey 
And we're here in Los Angeles, California at the LA Auto Show. Yeah, every year people come here at the LA Convention Center. Got the hottest models in their car. You know what, we still got it, we still got it. Do you think every hot girl has at least one granny panty? Yeah. You have a granny panty? Of course. Yes. I said I'm not wearing them now. Okay. And you, you have one yourself? Of course. Me too, me too. That makes three of us. That makes three of us. <laughs> what would it be? Hold on. What did you say? Hey, come on. I said, uh, have a nice day. No, no, no. What, what would you tell her, really? I'd say, um... He, he said, he said, uh, how's that, what's that smell? How's that smell? I'd say, uh, where'd you get your heels? No. No, really guys, if anyone were to butt dial you, will you actually say and listen? Yes. Yeah. Would you use it against that person? Yes, I'm evil. I would too, I would too. I'm super jealous, so I would. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> and we are here with? John Walker. John Walker. John Walker, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm the president of the Studio City Neighborhood Council. And I'm here with another board member, Remy Kessler. Oh, nice. Hi, Remy. And we're here to come down to the auto show to see what's new and what we can do to provide a cleaner Los Angeles. Don't lie, don't lie. You know you came over here to look at the girls. We did, don't you're lie. right. <laughs> and look, we found one on the escalator. <laughs> I'm Amber Grace, and I'm a clubaholic. Yeah. <laughs>